Welcome to Bloody Flicks. I'm your host, Pete. I'm Kyle, and we talk about all things bloody. And we're going to review the movie, The Breed. Ooh. What is The Breed about, Kyle? Because you watch this first. Yep. The Breed is about a, a group of friends going to this uh, cabin and for a little weekend getaway on this remote island. And while they're there, there's a bunch of uh, experimental dogs that, that uh, come and attack them. Didn't they have rabies or something? I don't. It's never really explained they, what. Yeah, they're mean or something. They they have something wrong with them, so they're kind of. Um, well, I wouldn't say they have rabies, but like they're aggressive. And uh, one of the people will stick out right away in the movie, Michelle Rodriguez from Fast and Furious yep. and Resident Evil, um, is in the movie and a few others. Um, I when I started watching it, I forgot I've seen part of it before. I don't remember watching the whole but I have seen part of it before. Um, <laughs> it's just kind of a kind of a different movie. It's not different, really. It's just you know, hey, let's fly to the to the island. One of the things that stuck out, of course, is the guys flying the plane. The older brother, hun hunky guy, older brother, kind of hunky guy, flying the plane. He has his younger brother. There's two girls, and then there's another dude in the back. So there's three guys and two girls. So one of them's the odd man out. So I assume the the dude in the back uh, was the odd man out. You thought the older brother was the odd man out, yes, because you couldn't figure out who the girl was. Well, it comes to it comes down to uh, part of the movie the the one girl, the younger brother, and one of the girls is dating. The, the younger brother and Michelle Rodriguez are dating. That's right. And then you have the other older brother, the other girl, and then the third wheel. The third wheel, yeah. Which um, the the other girl kind of has a a thing with. For the older brother, but the third wheel guy has a thing for that girl. Yeah, you, it, but I kind of thought that the older brother was the third wheel, and I, and with, which kind of first because the first the girl goes after the the other the, the, the third party dude. They're talking about going to the basement. He's flirting with her. Let's go make out. And she goes down with him. Then later on, she's banging the older brother. So it's kind of like, I guess she just doesn't have a boyfriend. She just likes to play the field. I'm assuming. I don't know. Maybe That's she, maybe she was gonna get with the other guy, but then when she realized she could have a shot with the older brother, she know. just I don't know. It was weird. I was kind of confused, but I was like, what the whatever. <laughs> we, deba you know? we debated the, yeah. the, who she's hooking up yeah. with and dating more than the movie itself. Yeah. So they get stuck in this island. They find out there's rabbit dogs. This is not gonna be a long review. Typical ra rabbit dogs. Um, not rapid. Rabid. <laughs> They're kind of rapid, actually. They're really fast. Um, they start by a little finding a little puppy, and the puppy's cute. Then the puppy starts going psycho and bites the girl, um, the promiscuous girl. And uh, we don't care enough to tell you their names because, like I said, these movies we're reviewing today aren't that great. Um, besides Michelle Rodriguez. Um, and even her, though, in this movie, her acting, it's like... I love her in every movie, but this movie, she's like, eh, I'm, I'm, do I really have to be here? That's kind of like the vibe I got from the movie. All the acting was decent. was pretty good. I like that. I like the acting between everybody was pretty good, but it seemed that vibe. I don't know if the, the way she's like, you know, <laughs> I just kind of like, I don't know. I struggled to get through it a little bit. It was kind of, to me, a little boring, um, even though I had a pretty good cast and everything. Uh, maybe because I've seen this type of movie before. I don't know what it was. Well, I mean, were, were you expecting it to be like Cujo? I don't know. I, I, I just struggled a little more than I thought I would. It's probably what I'd make it through the first time I tried watching it. I don't know. But it, it's not bad. I mean, I don't think I'd put it in the DVD player to watch um, continuously by any means. But uh, um, the, the killer dogs were okay. They, it looks like they used real dogs, um, which is really it's hard to control real dogs. If they're CGI, they did a really good job. Um, some of the kills and how they tried to escape were, were... Of course, the older brother is shooting a bow and arrow. 
<laughs> and uh, he's real good at it. And then one of the scenes, uh, the promiscuous girls getting attacked and he shoots the dog. Moved. I thought he missed. No, it wasn't her. It was Michelle Rodriguez. Oh, that's he who shot, shot. Michelle. Yeah, yeah. He, and uh, how do you shoot her? The dog, the, dog the dog is attacking her, and he's going to shoot her, shoot the dog with the, with the bow and arrow. And as the arrow is coming at the dog, the dog moves, and it hits Michelle Rodriguez in the leg. Yeah, in the, in the calf area. Yeah, yeah. and um, that's how. That's it. that's it. But yeah, what do you think about the kills in this movie? Uh, I mean. It's a dog. It's a dog attack movie. So I mean, the dog. You know, like the kills are just going to be mostly like throat rips. You know, get rip someone's throat out. You know, maul them to death. You know, that kind of thing. So I mean, um, there there was a few in, you know, like the there's a couple kills that were kind of interesting. Like the um, uh, the very beginning, you see this other couple come to this island. The one girl getting kind of mauled up was good well then um the taryn man taryn manning the other girl besides michelle rodriguez her death was pretty good basically she's wrestling with the dog and they fall out of a second story window and she lands on what was it like the mailbox post or something something, something like, like that. that and it like you know goes through her that was and her and the dog it got both of them that was probably the coolest kill and then the other dogs come and start eating her they were tearing her apart that one was probably my favorite kill in the movie um, and typical they find a way to escape the yeah. old radio tower type thing and try to make it to a boat um to their amphibious plane which the dogs actually were able to get the plane away from the dock and let it float out to the um and then they tried to swim after it at one point and the dog yep. started swimming after them so um it was it was all right i mean the dog the, the post kill or whatever with them both landing on the post or whatever it was was pretty cool the best kill um like I said, the cast acting was pretty good. Um, I, think, I like the cast, but as a movie as a whole, um, I can only, I think I'm going to give it two blood drops, which means two is not bad. Um, it's second to lowest for me. It's just, all right, it's not bad. I mean, if it was on TV, I'd probably have it on and play on my phone, probably. But I don't think I would purposely put the movie in, which is hard to say because I hate, I hate being mean to movies, but it just, to me, it didn't catch my interest at all. But then again, we've been watching a lot of bad movies lately, so I'm kind of movied out right now. But to be honest, if we're going to be honest, it's just a two blood job, not bad for me. For me, this is probably hard because um, he wants to love this. He wants to I, like this movie. I, I he wants I, to so I bad. Don't, I don't say I want to love this movie, but he's I, trying. I, no, I I kind of know why I think I I like this movie. I would give it three blood drops out of five. Um, what? <laughs> that mean you're saying you're saying it's good movie? Yes. Okay. Um. Oh, hang on, I gotta figure out how I'm gonna do this. Well, just be honest. I mean, not bad. It's not bad. It's not like I wouldn't watch it. It's trash or nothing. I'm just saying that it's not a good movie that I would consider good or really good. You know, I mean, I wouldn't. To me, good. Three or three blood drops are higher. I'm gonna I'm gonna watch over and over again. I'm not gonna watch this over and over again. You might. That's the difference. I just want to be honest as possible. You know. He's thinking. If, if you think it's a three, that's good. I mean, it's not bad. It's got a lot. Of, it's got a lot of good qualities. I mean. Well, it might be just because I miss my dog. So I don't know that my emotions might play into this because i mean it's a dog movie and that's you know, what a movie's supposed to do is play their emotions so so three blood drops buddy yeah i'd give All it three. Right, three blood drops i mean i'd watch this again um you know I, like i said i don't think it's a bad movie but it ain't something i would watch all the time this would probably be one of those good like maybe like if you were going to try to do you know a horror movie one horror movie um you know a day for halloween you know if just one day just throw this in for that this would probably be something like that. Yeah, I mean, I, if it was on or uh, something like that, I'd watch it once a year or something like that. Yeah, it's not bad. All right, so three blood drops for you uh, for good. Two blood drops for me for not bad. And, uh, yeah, so if you want to see Michelle Rodriguez um, be a kick-ass woman like she is in every movie, um, yeah, and some dogs, yeah, put it in, I guess. But uh, that is The Breed. And uh, until next time, stay bloody. <laughs>